When thinking of wild deer, you might imagine shy animals that live in the woods. But the last thing you would probably expect to find are deer grazing on a golf course. These are the deer of Walton Hall. Walton Hall is in the centre of Walton Park, which is an Elizabethan mansion that now represents the Nottingham Natural History Museum. It sits in the middle of 500 acres of land, which includes a lake. This is home to many examples of water birds that make up part of the park's wildlife. But what makes the park unique is the herd of deer that are famous here. There are two species of deer that can be found in the park. The fallow deer isn't actually a native species to Britain, and is believed to have been introduced in the first century. In terms of size, fallow deer would stand around a metre tall at the shoulder. The other species of the park is Britain's largest native mammal, the red deer. The females are smaller than the males and similar to the fallow deer, but do not have antlers. The males, however, grow their antlers in the spring, becoming giant structures used to display and fighting other males in the autumn during rutting. Still, play fighting will occur throughout the year to practice for the real thing. By winter, the antlers will usually fall out and regrow in the new spring. The park is incredibly important for the deer, as urban growth puts pressure on wildlife being able to find a home. The park also allows members of the public the opportunity to see them, but here the park's priority is the safety of the deer. Even though the deer are wild, regular contact with the public has made them used to As a large portion of the park is made up of a golf course, it is inevitable that the deer will interact with people. This could potentially lead to problems, especially during the rutting season where males become more aggressive. The deer at Wollum Park are symbolic of Nottingham. Um, I mean, Wollum Park is one of our only major parks in Nottingham. Um, and the deer are a characterising feature in the park. Um, so the deer are safeguarded by things that the council have put in place. Um, if, for instance, the deer get frightened, there's a secluded area where they can go to, and they are provided for by their own um, individual sort of gear. To prevent this, the public are not allowed entry into the golf course fence has helped to close off certain areas of the park which stop people from entering, but not the deer. This allows them somewhere to retreat to if they do feel threatened in any way. But as they live in large herds, safety in numbers is a strategy that deer use to protect themselves. This allows visitors an incredible glance of a bygone age, where thousands of animals would travel across the country together. Now. Such sites are rare in Britain, as the human population continues to grow and the country's wildlife feels the pressure, especially the largest animals that live here. But with parks like Wallerton, such rare sites and remarkable animals can be protected for people to enjoy. This will remain a reminder for people to treat such places with respect, as natural habitats with such animals become harder to find. Of course, there are not many places where you can find deer happily grazing on a golf course, making the sights of Wallerton a little bit more interesting. Whilst fallow deer appear to be shyer and prefer to keep their distance from people, red deer are posers for the cameras. The deer of Wallerton Hall are a historic association with the park and will always be a part of Nottingham's wildlife, despite being inside a growing city.